During this time when public worship is suspended, you may have heard the term spiritual communion. It's been used historically to describe the means of grace by which a person prevented for some serious reason from sharing in the celebration of Holy Communion can nonetheless receive communion of Jesus Christ. The church is not defined by the walls of a building and it's often said when we greet one another with a peace during worship, we are the body of Christ. In one spirit, we are all baptized into one body. We meet in his name and share his peace. So spiritually, we can continue to meet in the name of Christ. We can meet Christ in his word in scripture and through the means of God's grace, we can receive all that Jesus offers us in nourishment and communion. As we draw close to Christ in prayer, and recall his words, I am the bread of life. Whilst church is changing, it's not stopping, and we're finding new ways to be in communion with one another and with Christ. We offer this reflective act of worship, inviting you to consider how you have known Christ and shared Christ today. As we listen to the anthem Ave Verum, which means hail the true body, you might like to reflect on the day and your relationship. What good things have come from God today? Where have I fallen short? What might I do tomorrow?
A reading from the Gospel according to St John. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. This is an adaption of the prayer of St. Richard of Chichester. Thanks be to thee, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly. Amen. And I invite you to join with me in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs> 